as a new business in Australia, setting up my uh, legal structure, and we have touched base on the, the legal structure separately, and now I want to hire my first employee. Um, how will I structure my payroll? What do I need to do to pay okay. an employee? Okay, so uh, let's get the assumptions out of the way. You've registered your ABN number, right? You've got your structure in place. So what you have to do is you have to either get your accountant to register you for PAYG withholding, or you have to separately do it yourself by calling the tax office or going online with their online services, all right? Once you start being an employee, you have to keep a few things in mind. Number one, that there will be superannuation. Number two, that there will be PAYG withholding. And number three, that there should be work cover on it, okay? These three things, superannuation, you pay once a quarter. So uh, the quarters are June to September, October to December, January to March, and April to June. Okay, so sorry, when I start, when I say June to September, I meant July to September, sorry. Apologies for that. But you get 28 days to pay your super after the end of the quarter for the entire three months. For PAYG, you also get 28 days. It goes along with something called your BAS. So you report on your BAS your GST, your fringe benefits, as well as your PAYG withholding amount. And that's how the tax office will basically keep that money aside for the employees when they do the tax return. So quickly, uh, when you do a, a hire an employee, you have to get them to fill out a TFN declaration form, which you, your online software providers can give you, uh, Zero, QuickBooks Online, and you have to, within 14 days of hiring the employee, tell the tax office that you've hired somebody with the help of that form. And that form basically contains whether HEX is applicable to them, or they are a non-resident, or they want extra tax held back, and so on and so forth. So that form should tell the employer how much tax to withhold based on the certain fields, okay? And you get three months to lodge your BAS, to do your PAYG, and you also get three months uh, time to lodge your superannuation, which is very, very important because if you don't pay your super on time, there are penalties that automatically apply. So that's very important.